Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series on Live View. Now, something that uh, happens to come up a few times is you want to prevent people from, say, uh, editing the same resource at the same time. Well, I've decided that we can leverage Phoenix and Phoenix Presence to actually uh, warn people about this. So say you're editing a user and somebody else is also trying to edit the same user. Well, we should probably let them know that there's somebody else trying to edit. Um, if we had some kind of a login identification, then we can show them who's actually editing. But in this case, we don't. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how to at least get the initial building blocks of this and uh, use Phoenix Presence for this. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have to actually first generate the Presence module. So if we use fix, mix, uh, Phoenix Gen Presence, this will create a uh, Presence object for us. Uh, we don't need to edit this at all, but we do need to add it to our, our tree, supervision tree. So we go to our application, and we can just remove this and add this in here. And then, of course, add a comma after that. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to actually, um, well, we can start off with writing a test. So I'm going to go into here into user edit test. And I'm going to make sure that we can track if other users are also editing. Pass in the con, pass in the user. We're not going to actually make any checks or anything else, so we just need to see it update. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this. And we need the HTML. Which is view one. I'll show you why later. So we're going to assert that the HTML first says that no other users are editing. Just to kind of let you know that you're in the clear. And we're going to also later assert that when we change this view, that there is one other user editing. Let's make it easy so we can handle pluralization. And we should grab this. We're not going to re-render the second one. We're just going to make sure that this HTML will have this text. This text, sorry. So the first guy joins. He sees that nobody else is editing. Another guy joins, and this new guy should see that there's one other user editing, which is this one. And this initial view will see the same thing when you re-render the view. It's pretty simple. So now we can run our our test. So mix test um, test slash live view web live and then edit user edit test. Okay, that fails. Now, if we go to our user edit section, now what we're going to need is we're going to need to actually add in that presence. So I'm just going to alias the hello live view web presence, which we generated before. And we actually don't use this at all, so I can go ahead and remove this. I believe we don't use this at all. Yep. And uh, one more thing I'm going to do is I need to have a topic when we track. So I'm just going to do user edit colon. And I'm going to be appending 
you know, like the ID over here, just like we do for channels. And we need a key to track. And I'm just going to use editor because everybody's going to have the same key. Normally you would use the user ID or some kind of individual tracking. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to use some normal key. Now what we need to do is when we mount and we are connected, then the first thing I want to do is actually do have a live view web endpoint and subscribe to our topic. I'm going to create a topic function and pass in the user ID inside. <clears throat> and that's pretty simple. We just take our topic, user ID, create a string for us. And this will let us get the uh, presence updates, which come in whenever somebody, which is our next thing to do, is start to be tracked. So hello live view, uh, should be hello live view. Oh, no, sorry, we don't even need that because we aliased it. Just straight presence. We're gonna track ourself for the topic. And then we need to give it a key. So we're gonna use our key over here, which is to say that we're just the editor. And we need to give it a map of extra data or metadata, and we don't use that. So we could just use that part. Now, when somebody joins or leaves, um, we're going to have to handle an event. I'm sorry, actually handle the handle info. Um, so we're going to have to actually handle the message that comes in, and we just use handle info because we're using a Gen server underneath. And we're going to have to handle the message coming in. Should be should have an event of presence diff. And then on here, we can grab our user, which we attached up here, and grab their ID. And then we can just the number of users. Uh, one other thing is because this logic is going to be used in more than one place, I'm going to make a function number of users. We will pass in the user ID because what we can do is we can just do presence.get by key, <clears throat> give it the topic or key that we used before. Now, if this is nobody else there, then we should get, we we'll would say that we're by ourselves. Otherwise, if we get something else, we will have a metas coming back. And I'm just gonna put, this is just gonna be the extra data. And because we're just leaving it empty, it's fine. We just grab this and we're gonna set it to the variable users. And then we just get the length of that metas. So every single time somebody joins the same key, there will be more than one uh, metas. OK. So that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, also when they join, we can use that same function. So we'll just use users. Uh, or we can just say number of users, make it more clear. Then we use our function, number of users, pass in the user ID. And then of course, we just do the same thing over here, assign to the socket, number of users, number of users. And we're getting the user ID from our match over here. 
So we can just call that function again. Whenever there's a difference, whether somebody joins or leaves, it's going to be the same. Now, if we go to our templates, using the form template. Now I'll just at the bottom. Now because we may or may not have this in our uh, other template, because in the new section we don't really care about this, we just look for if the assigns has number of users. This should return a null if not there. And if it is there, then this will go ahead. So then we can use if number of users is greater than one. So one be by ourself. Um, then we can say, let's go ahead and fill this out. Then we can say that, uh, well, first of all, we can grab this part. and grab our language, okay. Go to here. The number of users minus one because it's ourself, right? We don't want to count that. And that should be it. So let's see if our test is passing okay. Great, one more time. Host 4000. Go to my user section and I can edit this user. Now you see no other users are editing because I'm the only one logged in. But if I go over here, you'll see that it sees the other person is online. And if this person closes or leaves, it goes back to normal. So there we go. So this is how to use uh, Phoenix Presence from within LiveView. Um, I'm expecting to go into a little bit more depth uh, about Phoenix Live View and, or at least uh, Phoenix channels in the future. And we're going to use Presence also. And so uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you don't miss that series. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.